Hello, my name is Dr. Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer in Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This is the second video on the Pythagoras theorem. In this video I will show how to solve unknown lengths of the sides in a right angle triangle. What you know. To help you understand Pythagoras theorem it would be of assistance to review video 1 Pythagoras theorem and to review information on formulas, equations and triangles. Formula a concise way of expressing information symbolically. Equations. An equation is a statement that says the equality of two expressions. Triangles. Triangle is a plane figure with three straight sides and three angles. There are some key words that we use in this video. Pythagoras theorem provides the relationship between the sides of a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle consists of two legs and a hypotenuse. The two legs must meet at 90 degrees or a right angle. The hypotenuse, that is the longest side in a right angle triangle and it is opposite the right angle. Applying Pythagoras. We can use the Pythagoras theorem. Applying Pythagoras. We can use the Pythagoras theorem to check if a triangle is a right angle triangle. If it is, then the left side of the formula must equal the right side of the formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Is this a right angle triangle? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Filling in the figures gives us 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. 36 plus 64 equals 100. 100 equals 100. This is a right angle triangle. Is this a right angle triangle? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Filling in the figures gives us 7 squared plus 3 squared equals 8.3 squared. 49 plus 9 equals 68. 8, 9. 58 does not equal 68.89. This is not a right angle triangle. Solving the triangle. The term solving the triangle means that if we have a right angle triangle and we know any two sides we can solve for the third side. This involves rearranging the formula so that the unknown side is on the left side of the formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this example a is unknown. So we rearrange the formula. We'll move b across the equal sign so the plus will change to a minus. a squared equals c squared minus b squared. Now we want to remove the square. 
we use the square root. The square root of a squared is a. a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared. Now we fill in the figures that we know. a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared. a equals the square root of 15 squared minus 9 squared. a equals the square root of 225 minus 81. a equals the square root of 144. a equals 12. Solving the triangle. Second example. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this example c is unknown. So we will rewrite the formula to place c on the left hand side. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Now we will get rid of the square by using the square root. c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now we can fill in the information. c equals 6 squared plus 6 squared. c equals the square root of 36 plus 36. c equals the square root of 72. c equals 8.49. Real world examples. How do you think we might use Pythagoras theorem in the real world? Let's say a painter needs to paint a wall that's 4.5 meters high. So that the ladder will not fall over, it needs to be 2.5 meters back. How long does that ladder need to be? C is the length we will be looking for. The formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c squared equals 2.5 squared plus 4.5 squared. c equals the square root of 2.5 squared plus 4.5 squared. c equals the square root of 6.25 plus 20.25. C equals the square root of 26.5. C equals 5.15 meters. The ladder needs to be 5.15 meters long. What you have learned. Pythagoras is one of the best known mathematical theorems. It provides the relationship between the sides in a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle consists of two legs and a hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle and it is the side opposite the right angle. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It's stated as in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. We can use the Pythagoras formula to Test if a triangle is a right angle triangle. Solve the length of an unknown side in a right angle tri triangle once two sides are known.